It's hot time, summer in the city of New York, but not as hot as Morocco's Saeed Wally, who will look to cool off Tyrone Jackson. All this from the Roseland Ballroom tonight as we swing on the star. At another call, you welcome to Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. I'm your host, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal, joined as I always am by our boxing analyst, Randy Gordon. Saeed Wally. Now, you're the one who taught me how to say that. Am I saying it right? Well, that's because he taught me how to say it. It's U Ali. I love that name. I love that fighter. I think uh, he's a bright prospect, Arnie. Very good prospect. Saeed Wally, though, very busy, Randy. Already his fifth fight coming up here tonight of 2001. Southpaw with punching power. He's got it all. You know something? I love fighters who stay active. You said it there. Four fights already. This is fight number five for the year. I love fighters who get back in the ring. They go to the gym, they come back to the arena. They go back to the gym and back to the arena. This guy can punch, he can box, he's exciting. I really believe he's a future star, future uh, contender probably. Well, Wally's certainly a dream for any manager at this point in his career, but he's taking on Tyrone Jackson. Jackson already a veteran, Randy, of 13 fights. We mentioned that to Wally yesterday. He didn't seem to care. He said, I don't know a thing about him. I don't care about him. All I know is it's going to be another fighter. My weight, he's going to be in front of me. He's got problems. Morocco versus Saratoga Springs. All this and more coming up on The Star. Stay with us. Bout of the evening is scheduled for six rounds in the welterweight division. The referee in charge of the action, Sammy V. Ruet. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing white, red, and blue, weighing in at 147 pounds. His professional record, six victories, one coming by way of knockout with seven defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, from Saratoga Springs, New York, presenting Tyrone Jackson. His opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing whites, blue and red, weighs in at 145 and one half pounds. His professional record, six bouts, six victories, with four coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, originally from Belgium, now fighting out of Morristown, New Jersey, presenting Sayed Owali. Short and concise as always with his instructions. And uh, Saeed Uwali. Watch for him to come out with that familiar right jab as he's a southpaw. His last fight this past June, going a six round distance for the first time against Amato Navarro, right here in New York, winning an easy six round decision. Jackson's last fight, October of last year, winning a four round decision over Robert Alvarez. So he's going to have a lot of rust sitting on him, Randy, off about 10 months. Yes, he will. And you can't have rust against a guy like Saeed Awali. Because Awali is a very sharp shooting fighter. He's got that jab poking. His favorite fighter, and he watches tapes of him all the time, is marvelous Marvin Hagler, the former middleweight champion. And he says, I throw the jab just like he used to. So you don't think that he'd be politically correct to say his favorite fighter is Howard Davis Jr.? <laughs> he loves him, too. That former... Amateur standout, one of his trainers. And I had mentioned earlier about the five greatest amateurs of all time. Let me give you the, my list, Randy's list anyway. Sugar Ray Leonard, Teo Stevenson, Howard Davis, Oscar De La Hoya, and Mark Breland. Go beat that list. You left me off the list. Oh, that's you left me off the list. You were on that list. Well, I named five other great guys. You don't, you're, you're six. All right. Meantime, I'm watching Jackson here. And uh, he threw a nice right-hand lead which leads me to believe either he's been in with a lot of southpaws or he was good preparation for this fight. And he certainly caught uh, Wally napping. And I think Wally's been a lot more cautious since he ate that right. 
Let's see what happens because the school of thought is saying that you always throw right hands against southpaws. I'm not one of those believers. You have to look at the guy in front of you and see if he's available to be hit by the right hand. More than halfway gone here in the first. It's a schedule for six. Lolly, as we mentioned, he's been the six round distance one time. And uh, Jackson's been the six round distance three times. So both fighters have been there. Shouldn't be a problem. Trying to drop that left hook in now. I I feel like Jackson's well prepared for the southpaw situation here, Randy. I like what I'm seeing so far. And remember, we've talked about it before. You can take the records many, many times if a guy has a losing record. If he's a decent fighter, if he's well-schooled, if he's well-conditioned, and if he's got the heart, he can give anybody a good fight. And uh, you saw it on the last show, as we mentioned, uh, Arnie Henderson knocking out Eduardo Torres coming in with a sub-500 record. A long time ago I learned that. When I first started in boxing, I said, how could this guy 11-0 be fighting a guy with an 11-13 record? I learned a long time ago, throw the records out in many cases. All right now, Tyrone Jackson giving a good account of himself. And just as we say that, nice left over the top drops in by Uwali. That had a lot of steam on it, a lot of smoke. He turned to the hips, and he just missed landing that full force. But again, dwelling on the lefty-righty matchup, their feet are well apart here, and uh, fairly even first round, more, more, even more even than we anticipated. More to come on a star. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rock and Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round number two of a scheduled six rounder, Saeedu Ali. He's in the white shorts with the solid blue stripe. White with the multicolored stripes, that would be Tyrone Jackson. Randy, a lot better first round than we anticipated from Jackson. I don't think enough to win, but certainly to set the stage that he knows how to fight a southpaw if nothing else. Well, that's that schooling he's got around the New York gyms and everything. He's been in with some southpaws, and what he's trying to do is just pace himself and see what kind of speed Uwali has. See how he pokes with the jab and then comes back, and then he put that left hook right over the top. Right over the top. Really timed it nicely, too, but Uwali comes back with a left of his own as he continues to jab his way in. Jackson, of course, looking to improve tonight to 500 when he came in at 6-7. and seven. Wally undefeated 6-0, and oh, four wins by way of knockout. His first six-round distance fight, as we mentioned, came in his last fight just about a month ago. It's the motto of Navarro. You know, you mentioned that rust before, Arnie. I'm not seeing all that much rust. I'm very impressed so far with what I'm seeing from Tyrone Jackson. I mean, he could be a little bit busier, but I think he's thinking a lot on defense. Doesn't want to get hit by that straight left hand. And he's showing good lateral motion. One of the things he's pointing out in Uali is perhaps Uali's inability to cut off the ring. And of course, just as we say that, he finally traps Jackson back in the corner, and he's starting to open up a little bit, but Jackson coming back with a body attack of his own. I want to see Wally do a little bit of slugging. I have no question that he can box. I want to see what he's like on the inside. I want to see him tested. I want to see his chin tested. It may not be tonight, but I'm impressed with this guy. Nice right drops in over the top of Wally. And Randy, we talked about how Jackson didn't look rusty, but he already seems to be slowing down quite a bit here in the second half of the second round. And I think Wally senses that, and if he really does, he would pick up the pace and make Jackson work even harder. Wally showing a lot of poise for a fighter with only six victories in six fights. Taking his time here. Under 30 seconds to go here in the second. At a pretty good pace at this point also. It really is. I think Wally is rushing things a little bit. I think he should be using his jab just like he did there a little bit more. He's trying to load up on that powerful left hand. Watch. And powerful it is. He's got four knockouts in the six wins. And perhaps that 
Makes him a bit of a head under, but we're going to see. Certainly going into the third. Stay with us. More to come. We're swinging on the star. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's star boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's star boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Round number three, and you know, we were talking about Howard Davis working the corner of Saido Ali. We'd also be remiss, though, if we don't point out that Hassan Talan is in his corner, also his co-trainer. He's also the managed by a new face in boxing, a woman named Mary Sweeney. She loves her boxing, says she's been raised on it, and just absolutely loves her boxing and is thrilled to be managing a guy with the skills of Wally. Mary sitting by the corner, but she hasn't been going up. You know what? She's absolutely restraining herself. I see many times she starts to leap out of the seat, and she's able to just pull herself right back down again, unless somebody behind her is pulling her down. <laughs> I wonder if probably somebody from the commission. <laughs> nice. Nice right hand lead right there, Rox Jackson. And there you saw that punching power. Abu Ali. Unofficially at this point, I'd have to say Wally pitching a shutout. Randy winning the first two rounds fairly handily. No question about it. I mean, I gave both rounds. I didn't make them 10-8 or anything like that. I made it 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, 10 points to the winner, 9 or less to the loser. I like when judges use the points, though. A lot of people think it's imperative to give eight when there's a knockdown. And, of course, it isn't. No, because the guy can get dropped with a flash knockdown, get right up and tear into the guy and win the rest of the round. Warning right there to keep the shots up. From Sammy Viriuret. Sammy, when he's not refereeing, makes his living as an attorney. Is that right? Yeah. Fine attorney in New York City. Boxing is his passion, though. Can't get enough of it. Comes from a fight family, of course. Yeah, a couple of real good fighters are his cousins. Former lightweight contender Edwin Virouette, and former welterweight and junior welterweight contender Adolfo Virouette. Both guys fought with Berto Duran. Oh, nice combination right there by Uali. And now you don't see the lateral motion anymore from Jackson, Randy. He's totally fighting, backing up. He's not going side to side. Well, it's that layoff. Remember, he... You know, here we are. It's summertime, and the guy's been off about nine, ten months already, and um, it affects him. When you start moving around like that, backwards, 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 your legs start to go. Wally having a much better time catching him now. He's under 30 seconds to go here in the third. Now he's cutting off the ring beautifully, and he escapes to, there. Well, trying to stay out of harm's way is Jackson, but like you said, he's not really offering much back. In the first round, he's a little bit more offensive. Stuff he was throwing, the, the punches had some zip on him, had bad intentions, no longer. Everything he throws now is a keep away from me kind of punch. Spitting down on the ring, a good sign though that Jackson's very tired at this point. Another good round for Ali. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or Ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Second half of a scheduled six rounder, and gee, Saeed Ali doesn't even give me time to do the setup, Randy. He comes out flying this round like they told him, this guy's ready to go. I noticed in the corner they were motioning him, get on him now, jump on him. That will give me a little time as Jackson does a clinch. Uali in the white with the solid blue stripe. Jackson the one who's getting pummeled here by, by Uali as we start the fourth round of a fight that's been all Uali. Jackson showing a lot of that rust from the eight month, should be 10 month layoff at this point. Oh, oh nice fast combination by Uali. Arnie, you know, the longer a fight goes when a guy has laid off, the worse he's going to be. I don't care what kind of shape he's in. He could 
run, run, run. He could be in the gym every day. When you haven't had that actual ring experience, the longer the layoff, the worse you're going to be in a long fight. All right, now Jackson looking, starting to look like he's looking for a place to lay down. He may need a room at one of the City Life hotels <laughs> that we see all throughout New York. Now, give him credit. I'm telling you this. He's got a lot of heart. The man has been stopped on three occasions. But each time, I mean, he's fought back and the referee's had to stop it. There's just no quit in Tyrone Jackson. Ulali slowing down a little bit here. As we're approaching the second half of the fourth round. And, of course, we're in the second half of this fight. This is scheduled for six. Nobody's been on the floor. Ulali doing everything he can, though, to try to put Jackson down. You came back too fast. He said, nobody's been on the floor, and I was about to jump in with, yet. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, Randy. You know, I missed the last show when I was off on sabbatical, and I didn't get to see, I wanted to see some more Antonovich first. <laughs> I, I thought that was terrific. I caught it on TV. I thought it was very good after the fact. Good-looking stuff. Very good. And very good-looking right now is Saidu Ali. Undefeated coming in tonight, 6-0, four wins by way of knockout. And considering, though, a little bit of a yardstick, Jackson's been stopped three times in his career, Randy. And I think it's imperative that Uali stops him if he's going to make a statement. Absolutely. When you're a young prospect like this, it's not going to hurt his career if they go the, to a decision. And we're far from the end anyway. He just may stop him. I'm not sure what it says. Let's see what he looks like for the rest of the fight. Well, if he wants to be a VIP... Much like our VIP club that's here and giving us water and sponsoring us, he's going to have to be a VIP and take Wally out. Excuse me, and take Jackson out. All right, surviving one more round is Tyrone Jackson, but the punch out put down dramatically as it improves for Wally. This is up Andy, dramatically. Andy. Round number five, scheduled six-rounder. Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with Randy Garden coming to you from Roseland Ballroom tonight. Randy, what's going on in Uali's head right now? He's a little bit frustrated because he's been throwing a lot of shots, not landing the shots that he wants to, and the shots that he does land, even though they're hurting Jackson, we talked about the heart of Jackson, he's coming right back again, and Uali's starting to get frustrated. And I'm sure if we asked him, He'd say, no, nah, I wasn't frustrated. He definitely is frustrated. He's showing it when he misses a shot. And the look on his face show it, showing it as well. Nevertheless, we've got him up unofficial. It's 40 to 36. Oh, there's not a question that he's in the lead. I mean, the, of course, we don't count in the scorecards. The three judges here in New York do. But I think it's uh, a foregone conclusion that he's going to win a decision if he keeps going like this. What about Randy the fact, wait a minute, Jackson, oh, about to lose his shorts. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. Uh, what about the fact that he's throwing one jab at a time and not taking that second jab with a step in to set up his left? That's where experience comes in. In fact, Howard Davis in the corner, who had one of the great amateur left jabs of all time, one of the great pro left jabs as well, speed, he keeps motioning with the jab, throw it, throw it. And wait a minute, did somebody yell switch? Tyrone Jackson going southpaw. He absolutely has. Let's see what that does. I want to see if it frustrates Uwali even more. I think that's only going to be a temporary thing, though. Usually when a guy switches up, it just lasts for a few seconds. As soon as they, they get hit with a solid shot, they turn around. And there it is. Just as you say it, Randy, he went to turn around. He put that left foot in front, and on the switch, he got caught. And nine times out of ten, that's what happened. They go to make the switch, and they don't keep circling in the opposite direction. Well, now he switched again. And when he gets hit with another shot, he goes right back to right-hander. Well, he's probably trying to get some leverage on that right hand because the right hand lead we saw in the first round has been out of town for the rest of the fight. And he's really on his bicycle right now. He's in survival mode. Jackson's throwing that left hand a lot, but he's not throwing the right hand. I'm wondering if he has hurt the right hand. 
Left hand catches him napping his right hand down by his side. And I just think Wally's throwing the shots from too far out. He didn't that time. That was a great body shot. Left hand. Yes, it was. Another Under 30 one. seconds to go in the fourth, and Wally really sensing right now that he could stop this. And now banging, as they say, from pillar to post. I want to see more body punching from Ali. He's got to get inside to do it, though. Has to get on the inside. He's in there now, and he let the opportunity slip away. We're going to go into the last stanza. Maybe. Now, technically, wouldn't Sammy Bigarek call that a knockdown? This is Charlie. Charlie. It because it was right at the bell. When a guy falls helpless into the ropes, it is a knockdown. I'm surprised he didn't pick up the count. To me, that's... Now, I think he's telling him. Knockdown. Well, Sammy Villarreal, we're asking him. He's calling it off, stating that it's not a knockdown. But I guess he was it right after the bell. But to me, technically, Randy, that looks like definitely dropped down there. All right, Randy, take a look here. Still plenty of time left. And here come the shots. Right hand. There's a left hand that lands right in the face. It staggers Jackson. He kind of wipes it away. I wonder if he slipped in here or was no, the shot to put him down. But I don't know definitely the fell is. into the ropes. As he's moving around behind that left jab, ducks down. All right, back now. live here, though. Sixth and final round. But no knockdowns in the fight except in our version at the end of the fifth as Jackson fell into the rope, Sammy Viret not calling it a knockdown. And nobody has been down on the floor in this fight. Wally, he's got the solid blue stripe. Multicolored stripes, that would be Tyrone Jackson. Wally looking to stay perfect tonight. He came in 6-0, four knockouts. Tyrone Jackson looking to go to 500 because he came in 6-7. He's got only one KO to his record. And that being the case, Randy, and him unofficially in our cards needing a knockout to win, we would say unlikely. I don't think there's any question that Uwali will win this fight. But boy, oh boy, I have to give Tyrone Jackson so much credit. He is so game, and sometimes that could be a little bit scary in a fight. Well, he looked like he was looking they to go down near the end of the fifth as he sunk into the ropes. Warning for elbowing right now by Sammy Viret. I mean, if Jackson did go down, could you blame him? The man has soaked up a lot of punishment. And for the 10-month layoff, still got some pretty good legs left underneath him here in the last round. He's managed to stay away from the heavy shots of Uwali and not allowed Uwali to get on the inside, although part of that's him not allowing it, and part of it's Uwali, I think, not just taking the opportunity, Randy. Right now, Uwali. Oh, low, oh, shot. low shot. Right uppercut. Boy, doesn't get lower than that. He, he took it well right on the cup. Those protective cuffs, they could take a heck of a blow. And he could take up to five minutes now, correct me if I'm wrong, to recover from this. Well, it's up to the referee to see if the guy's trying for an Oscar. I don't think there's any question about it. Oh, I, mean, very low. Low. I don't think he's going to see five minutes here. I think he's going to take a minute or so and get back in the fight. He's a very game guy, and that's what I would expect. He's yep. coming back in, but he could have had up to five minutes by New York State rules. And you know what he's thinking, Arnie? Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, he didn't need the five minutes. He wanted to get back in this fight. He wants to get back to his dressing room, get the ice, and put it on his body. Not to mention the paycheck. <laughs> but Uwali trying to take advantage of it right now. He'd like to get one more KO to his record and not go the full six for the second time in a row. And he's really teeing off right now. Not working the body though, Randy. You really pointed that out and you're right on that. That's something that he really needs to work on in the gym is going downstairs and, and not below the belt. Exactly. From early in the fight, he should have been attacking the body, but rounds one, two, and three, he really didn't spend any considerable amount of time at the body.
Oh, big right lands in there. That's the same right hand lead Jackson threw in the first round. He just let four rounds go on in between where he didn't use it again. Now, he's not throwing many right hands, and he just poured out with his right hands. He's conserving it. I don't know if he hurt the hand or what, but he's taking a real lick in tonight. And again, my heart goes out to him because he is a real game fighter. Every and he's going southpaw it. again, but he's going to survive this fight. This one's going to go to distance. And still trying right up until the end to stop him, Saeedu Ali. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's star boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here in New York City, New York, we go to the square corner. All three judges have it exactly the same way. Those judges being Steve Weisfeld, George Cologne, and Julie Letterman. They all have it 60 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still on the field, Sayuri O'Malley. All right. Saeed Ali remains undefeated. He improves to 7 0, going to sixth round distance for the second time. Tyrone Jackson, he drops down to 6 and 8. But our amazing Randy Gordon is in the ring. He's going to get a hold of Saeed Ali and I'm sure, of course, his trainer Howard Davis as well and find out his thoughts on his performance tonight. Well, we tonight. We'd like to thank our sponsors for their support in making this And uh, Wally, I'm sure yeah, Randy's going to bring up what we were all over, which of course was, where's the body City attack? Where's the double jab? Restaurant. And we'll see what kind of answers they have for that and just how they can adjust that Please check out once they get into the, the back into the gym. And one of these Very busy though, Wally. This was his fifth the fight. The area. Of and, uh, 2001 for your support. And in uh, less than a year's time, his seventh pro fight. So the manager's dream right now, but our Randy Gordon has got to Ali. He's going to tell us their thoughts on tonight's fight. Take it away, Randy. Thank you, Arnie and Saeed Uwali. We got your name right. Just like you said. Exactly. Are you happy with your performance tonight? Oh, yeah, definitely I'm happy because I came in the ring just, you know, I injured my jab axe in my right hand. But it's my jab. I injured in the gym, so I had to do it actually just, you know, do a lot of fake and that kind of thing. Just so I'm happy that, you know, as a fighter, you always want the knockout. And if you don't get it, you know, you're a little bit disappointed. But, you know, it has its good and its bad things. I went two times the distance, and I think that's a very important thing, too, for later on. A few times you hit, hit him with some great body shots, but that was later in the fight. Looking back now, do you wish you had hit him with body shots, started that body attack a lot earlier? I think this guy came in just... Uh, just to, you know, just to fight. He didn't want to win. He just, you know, went to defense. It was very difficult to hit this guy, and you know, and to get him out because he didn't come to fight. That's actually, in my opinion, uh, he just came to survive. I'm going to bring in one of your trainers over here, a guy who knows a little bit about boxing. Let me get a few guys in here. Howard Davis Jr., former Olympic champion, outstanding contender. You're one of his trainers. What did you see tonight that you have to improve on? We gotta settle him down just a little bit more. He gets a little anxious when he hurts somebody, when he gets to fight a hurt. Just gotta settle him down just a little bit more to get his combinations, you know, together. Did you guys feel that he should have used the jab a little bit more and the body attack? Yes, Will Howard and I will work on that in the gym with him. Let him execute his jab a lot more so that he can make his opponent do what it, the, uh, the opponent doesn't want to do, and then he can execute his uh, punches from that um, perspective. You were joking around about Fernando Vargas yesterday. I mean, down the road, now can you really see yourself? Do you still believe there's a championship in your future? I think that what everybody wants is what, they want to be the best and to be the best. You've got to fight the best. And one of the best fighters, Fernando Vargas, maybe down the line. That can happen. Who knows? We're training for it. That's all I can say. Well, he did the job tonight. His name is Saeed Wally. You're going to be hearing a lot more about him. He's now 7-0. And let's go back to our own undefeated Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. All right. Thank you, Randy. Saeed Ali remains undefeated, 7-0. Still more to come. We're swinging on the star. Stay with us. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. 
See some of the best young fighters. Star boxing, rockin' fights, it's a knockout. Star Boxing has been brought to you tonight by City Life Hotel Group. Check them out online at www.stayinnewyork.com and by Antonovich Furs. Ah, Antonovich. All right, back at ringside, Randy. Well, Wally doesn't seem disappointed in the performance in spite of the fact that he won six rounds again. What do you think is going to happen when he goes back to the gym? Oh, I, you know what? You're never going to get a disappointed fighter when he wins a fight. He was very thrilled in the back when he was leaving. He's oh, so happy. I'm so happy. He'll watch the tape. You know what? He'll work on things that I think he's going to be a better and better fighter. I really believe in this. Game. Of course, he couldn't have more experienced men like Howard Davis in the gym with him. Howard didn't seem the least bit frustrated. He seems very happy with this guy. You know, there were a lot of good things that you can see. The stamina just didn't look like he could have gone another six round. The jab, the speed, there was a lot of good things that, no, he didn't go to the body. No, he could have closed the gap. Or a lot of things like that. That will be worked on. He's a young fighter, and I think you're going to be hearing a lot more from him. Well, we hope to see how he corrects some future things on Star Boxing. We hope to see you on future Star Boxing shows along with us as well. For Randy Gordon, I'm Arnie Sophia Rosenthal. Good night, Gary. I'm coming home.